What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Bills Bunker. As always, I'm Jake Varco, and there's been a lot of news surrounding this Buffalo Bills team here on this Monday. And there's been some good news. There's been some bad news. <sighs> Should we start with the good news or the bad news? You know what? Let's, let's start with the bad news. Let's get that out of the way so we can get straight to the good stuff. But really, the bad news outweighs the good news today, in my opinion. The bad news is that Tremaine Edmonds has reportedly agreed to sign with the Chicago Bears with a four-year, $72 million contract. 24-year-old linebacker has been a serviceable piece for the Buffalo Bills. He, he's been a cornerstone linebacker, been a cornerstone building block for this team since he arrived after being drafted in the first round in 2018. Tremaine has been the definition of consistent for the Buffalo Bills. In five seasons, he's never played less than 15 games and he's recorded more than 100 tackles every single year. He's a two-time Pro Bowler and a former Bills captain. He's now one of the highest paid linebackers in the National Football League and deservingly so. That's a gaping hole that the Buffalo Bills are gonna need to fill on the defensive side of the football. It'll be interesting to see what Sean, Mer Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean decide to do here to fill in uh, that big, big loss. That's a big void, some big shoes to fill in the absence of Tremaine Edmonds, who's been here for the last five years. However, this is a defensive-minded front office. They do a pretty good job of filling in uh, when, they make, when they have some losses of pieces on the defensive side of the football. So honestly, I'm not too worried about it. It's just, it's a sad day to see Tremaine Edmonds leaving the Bills organization and taking his talents to Chicago. Edmonds was simply too expensive for the Buffalo Bills to take on his cap. Uh, the Bills cap situation, it's not too pretty right now. And honestly, it's just sad to see Tremaine Edmonds go. He, he, gets, he gets paid like he deserves to. Four years, $72 million with the Chicago Bears, who are really loading up. They've made a plethora of moves in the last few days, and I, I really love that trade they made with the Carolina Panthers, getting two first-round picks, two second-round picks, and DJ Moore in exchange for the first overall pick in this year's draft. I think they got an excellent return from Carolina. Now, time for the good news, and I did say that the bad news outweighed the good. I, I do feel that way, but I feel that the Buffalo Bills, there's some options to replace Tremaine Edmonds. And before, I guess this is part of the good news. Uh, the Bills have been linked to Levante David. Uh, that's something that I've been seeing on Twitter is Levante David has been linked to the Buffalo Bills. Now that, that would be a great replacement option for the Bills and I think that would be ideal. More good news in terms of what the Bills have been doing here early on in the free agency period. Uh, we have Cam Lewis, Tyler Matakovich, and Sam Martin being re-signed uh, by the Bills organization. So Sam Martin and uh, Tyler Matakovich, two guys that are very serviceable pieces on special teams, and then Cam Lewis. He can also be a special teams guy, but he's more of a depth corner, and that's something that is really important. Uh, actually plays an important position for the Bills. But the big news in terms of what the Bills brought in today is they've signed offensive guard Connor McGovern to a three-year, $23 million contract. And there's two Connor McGoverns in the NFL, if you didn't know. There's one with the New York Jets. Now one with the Buffalo Bills, formerly the Dallas Cowboys. McGovern, he's got a pretty good resume. McGovern is a 25-year-old, and he spent three seasons with the Dallas Cowboys after being selected in the third round of the 2019 NFL Draft. Over the past three years, the lineman had started 29 games for Dallas, dealing with some injuries throughout that time. Last year, he started 15 games for the Cowboys and played in 88% of the team's offensive snaps. So I like this signing for the Bills for a couple of reasons. First of all, Josh Allen last year was under a lot of pressure. He took the second most sacks he's ever taken in his NFL career. 
being taken down 33 times for a sack. Don't like to see that with your superstar quarterback. He needs some help on the offensive side of the football, and I think this is a good place to start. Connor McGovern can impact the passing game and the running game as an offensive lineman. Uh, getting more protection for Josh is a good thing, but also McGovern, what he does at the guard position as an interior lineman is he's hopefully going to create some bigger holes for whoever's in the backfield, whether that's James Cook, Devin Singletary, or someone else that the Bills look at bringing in in that backfield. Creating holes for them to run the football and gain some positive yardage, that's a big thing. So I like the signing of McGovern. I think it's a really, really big deal to bring him in uh, from Dallas as a free agent offensive lineman. The signing of McGovern as an interior lineman can actually help make the offense much more versatile as if he can help actually create those holes, the Bills should have more success running the football next season and hopefully do it a little bit more than they have in years past. But I want to know what your thoughts about the signing of Connor McGovern and then the loss of Tremaine Edmonds, which I actually feel was inevitable. It was it was something that was coming and that was brewing for a little while. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And also let me know what would you like the Buffalo Bills to do at the linebacker position? Is there someone you'd like them to bring in or anywhere else in the lineup for that matter? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, Make sure you subscribe to the Bills Bunker if you like this video. Give it a like. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be here doing a bunch of videos all throughout the offseason, posting stuff, giving updates, and I think there's some big news coming hopefully in the next few days for the Buffalo Bills. Free agency period's just getting underway. The NFL draft's coming up. There's going to be lots to talk about uh, as we prepare for the 2023 NFL season. If you haven't already, check out other stuff on the channel as well. I've got plenty of content on the Bills Bunker. Been doing this for a few years now. Thank you for watching.